Writing a real-world situation from an equation, lesson 7.1c. An equation with the variable on both sides can be used to represent a real-world situation. So that means we have a variable on both sides of the equal sign. We can reverse this process by writing a real-world situation for a given equation. Here we have the equation 25 plus 12x is equal to 17x. This 25 can be a one-time fee, deposit, down payment as the constant. This plus 12x, remember the sign to the left goes with that term, this plus 12x can be an increment of time, such as hours, as a variable term. Here we have another variable term. It can be the cost without the down payment by a different company. So here it's telling us to write a real-world situation that could be modeled by the equation 25 plus 30x is equal to 35x. So I have a possible real-world problem. Bob charges $25 plus $30 per hour for his work. Sam charges $35 per hour. How many hours would go by for Bob's and Sam's fees to be the same? So note, it's asking us to write a word problem, not solve the equation. So we're not going to be solving these. You can if you'd like to, but it's asking us to come up with a word problem that will fit this equation. So notice, we are comparing two different fees, Bob's and Sam's, and Bob's has a $25 initial fee that needs to be paid on top of his $30 per hour. So stick with me because I have several more examples. It's telling us again to write a real-world situation that could be modeled by the equation 500x is equal to 2,400 plus 450x. Now this is the same as the equation that we just did, except it's written in a different order. Now we have 500x on this side of the equal sign, and we have our constant, and we have our variable term on the right side. A possible real-world problem that I came up with is the price of a new car at a dealership, A, is $500 per month. And at dealership B, it's $2,400 down payment and $450 per month. After how many months is the cost at the two dealerships the same? So again, do you notice that I am writing in my word problem that I'm comparing the two dealerships? And I want to know after what time increment will the cost be the same? Here's another example. We have 20x plus 28 is equal to 34x. The possible real-world problem that I came up with is an archery range charges $20 per hour plus $28 to rent the equipment. Another archery range charges $34 per hour, including equipment use. After how many hours will their fees be the same? So again, I've got my variable term plus that amount to rent the equipment, that constant, and I'm comparing it to another company that has a variable term as its fee. And we want to know how many hours will, will go by for their fees to be the same. So notice it always says to be the same down here as the last part of my word problem. Here we have another. It's 20 plus 15x is equal to 17x. The possible real-world problem that I came up with was a video streaming service charges $20 to register and $15 per month. A different streaming service charges $17 per month. How many months will it take for their charges to be equal? So instead of saying fees to be same, I just worded it differently and said for their charges to be equal, it's the same thing. Here we have another one, 30x minus 8 is equal to 32x. Our possible real-world problem, now pay attention, we have a minus 8 here. Store A sells shirts for $30 each and offers an $8 coupon. Store B sells the shirts for $32 each. How many shirts would need to be purchased 
for their cost to be the same. So we're again, we're comparing store A to store B and their cost of the shirts. We can use a coupon to represent the minus eight because we're taking it away from that fee. So remember, the constant is the positive or negative number that represents the initial fee, down payment, or quantity that is added or subtracted from a recurring fee or amount over time. We have our constant, we have a variable term with that constant, then we have another variable term on this side of the equal sign, and this is compared to this as two different companies or two different situations. We're finished with Lesson 7.1, and we're moving on to 7.2. We're going to talk about solving an equation that involves fractions. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and join me for the next lesson. Bye!